Hello, hello, Sharon here. Earlier this year, Zoom released a feature called Blurred Backgrounds. And I actually wasn't that happy with it because it lost the depth behind me and there was no way that you could actually change the intensity of the blurriness of the background itself. So I thought I'd create my own using Canva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to quickly find and create your own blurred background, incorporating your logo, or branding as appropriate and it's all for free so let's crack on so once you're logged into your canva account this by the way is a free account that i'm using here so it doesn't cost a penny um, but once you're logged in all you need to do is go to create a design button in the top right corner click on custom size and then the custom size for a zoom background is 1920 by 1080 pixels so just to put that in there and then click create new design. The first thing you need to think about is what kind of image you want the background to be. Do you want it as though you're sat in an office? Do you want it so that you're outside? Do you just want a view from a window? Think about, think about that and how you're going to incorporate your own branding and logo into that as well. And also remember that you're going to be framed in this image as well. So make sure it's not too cluttered and too busy and too distracting. Also, you might have a photograph or an image that you've saved from somewhere else that you want to use, in which case all you need to do is upload it. So you click on uploads and go to upload media and then just navigate to wherever your image or your photograph is saved and upload it into Canva. Alternatively, if you don't have your own image, then you can use one of the free ones that's already available to use in Canva. To do that, click on photos on the left hand side. And then it's just a matter of putting in the search. So for my example, I want an office background. So I just type in office background in the search bar and you can see there are loads of office backgrounds here. And if you hover over them, you'll either have the crown symbol in the bottom right corner of each image to say that you need a, a paid pro account for that, or you can get an, Im an image that actually is free. So if you hover over the image again, it'll say free in the bottom corner and obviously they're free to use. So just find one that you actually like the look of. I quite like this one. And if you click once on the image, it will automatically place it in the center of your design. Or another way of doing it is to click, hold and drag the image over to your design and it will automatically resize it to fit that design completely. Once you're happy with the image, you need to blur it. And to do that, click once on the image, go to edit image at the top here, and then scroll down until you get to the adjust section here and click on see all and you'll notice about halfway down there there's one called blur and you just move the slider to create the blurriness you can see the image on the right hand side is blurring more and more we don't want it too blurred that you don't know what it is but we just want it slightly blurred so you can't read anything in the background so i quite like that that's not too bad and obviously remember you're going to be framed in the middle here or wherever you position yourself on your zoom call so now i actually want to incorporate my own um logo and branding so for that i want to have like a, a banner down here a rectangular banner down down this left hand side so a quick keyboard shortcut if you want to bring up a rectangle shape then just press r on your keyboard and it will bring up a rectangle and then it's just a matter of resizing it and repositioning it and then changing the color to your branding colors that's fine and i actually want this to be slightly transparent as well so click once on the on the banner here and go up to the top right corner and there's a little tool here for transparency and it's just a matter of just again dragging that up or down as a slider click off there and I'll just bring across my logo that's a bit too big so we'll just grab the handle and resize it and then just move this in a little bit and then center this. I think that looks okay. Obviously in the zoom, I'm going to be standing sort of round about here and that's it. Once you're happy with it, all you need to do is click on download in the top right corner here, leave it as the PNG, which is what it's suggested and click download. And that will save to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads usually save on your PC. And that's ready to be uploaded to your zoom account as a virtual background. So I'll quickly show you how to do that now as well. Hello. Hello. So now I'm logged into my zoom account. So what you need to do is go into your video settings. So if you click into the little drop down arrow down here on the meetings toolbar, 
click on the drop down arrow next to video and go to choose virtual background and then you'll see this little plus sign over on the right hand side which is add an image or a video to your virtual background so you click on there and then click add image and then go to wherever you've saved your virtual background from Canva that you've just downloaded and click on it and click open. Now as you can tell in the background here the virtual image that I've done it's actually flipped it it's back to front so all you need to do is the little box down here that says mirror my video just untick that it will unmirror you so I'm now the opposite way around to what I was but the background itself will be flipped around the right way and then just click off here and you can see now I have the blurred background behind me so there's a there's a bit of depth behind me now and you can see I've got my Brandon and everything in the um, over there <laughs> it's still a bit glitchy when you put your hands up you can still see the things right behind you but I don't have a green screen so it's it's that's the way it is um, but to incorporate your branding and your logo and everything and to make it not as blurry as the usual zoom one then I think Canva is a great way to go and it's so easy to use and it, obviously it's free to use as well and that's it. I really hope you found this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, bye for now.